Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Universal 5. Today, we're going to be remastering one of my most popular videos. Well, actually, it is the most popular. And that is, making a solar system. However, we're going to do this a little bit differently. Rather than just simply remastering the planets and, you know, remaking it from scratch, we're going to see what would this system look like 100 years in the future. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Let's start with our main star, conveniently enough named Panda Power Sauce Star, because that's totally original. Over the last hundred years, we'll just say the star grew in size a little bit, and for some reason it's now blue, because that makes perfect sense. Now on to YS Fto 78 beep something. I don't know why I named this like that. The last hundred years have not been kind to this far, fair little world, and it is now a barren desert with no signs of life and no geological activity whatsoever. And now, on to home. Our home, as we'll say, because you know, again, this is like referencing everyone, has seen some great improvements in the last hundred years, and pretty much everything about it is better in nearly every way. The, our moon orbiting our planet, Unu Stib, is also able to now support marine organisms, organisms, thanks to the fact that the moon actually has proper oceans now. Huste, or as we all like to call it, Huste, has still continued to freeze over the last hundred years, but has gained two new asteroid moons thanks to some collisions with some minor asteroids. And these two asteroid moons are called Rascal and Pascal.
Rionat has been barren for so long that it's literally had its atmosphere as well as parts of its land stripped away due to solar flares. So now the planet's just a giant gray wasteland. But hey, at least it's cool and cold. A bit too cold, mind you. Giant Panda, the only sole gas giant in the entire system for some reason, over the last hundred years has been doing really well, gathering many moons as well as its own ring system, and even gathering a large moon where now a side section of humanity lives, as we'll call them Emanity, because why not, it's where they live. And this planet along with its moons and its inhabitants are doing really strong and it's basically like a little sanctuary for the outskirts of the solar system. The loneliest planet is still, well, it's still lonely, sadly, but at least its colors haven't changed, even though you actually can't see the colors, but hey, at least you can't see the colors, because that way you won't have to see how hideous the planet is. Yep, I went there. I'm terribly sorry. Also, did I mention that the sky is a lot different this time around? Okay, I did? Alright, just, just, just checking, just make sure. And now, we can now see what our original solar system would look, li would look like 100 years in the future.
So that is going to conclude this first episode of the Universal 5. Definitely a very fun and relaxing episode, Being go going back to basically remaster like one of my oldest simulations from Universe Sandbox, and re-modernizing these planets and making everything look a lot better knowing that I can actually do a lot more in this game now. Maybe this system might get remastered at some point again, but probably not, considering like I've done this like three or four times on the exact same system, so it's getting kind of old at this point. But that is going to conclude this episode of the Universal 5. If you've enjoyed this episode and you want to see more videos of Universal Sandbox as well as Universal 5, make sure you leave a like down below and comment what you thought of the simulation and it, or not the simulation, yeah, funny. Uh, think about anything that I did wrong with the solar system that you might think might be weird or things that you would change or just some suggestions, basically. Anyway, that is all for the Universal 5. We will see you again in two weeks when the next episode premieres. Thank you so much for watching, remember to stay saucy, and we'll see you then. Later!